Okay, uh, hi everybody. Let's get started. I'm going to teach you how to use G Suite from Google, Google's G Suite, with your Gmail. Now, all you need to do is to get a simple Gmail, a free Gmail, maybe the name of your company, dot Gmail. I would use Google Chrome as the browser because there's some Google Chrome apps that you can use and uh, so you know the more you stick to Google I think the better off you are so just so you know that okay so let's say you get a free Google account and then what you want to do is just Google how do I sign up with G Suite that's G like Google Suite S-U-I-T-E and you know the million ways to sign up for G Suite uh, the the simple one is only $5 a month. There's a business one that I'm going to upgrade to that is $12 a month. But really, I get so much support, like a virtual assistant, from the brilliant support team at Google. Now, these are Google employees. You know how much Google employees make? A lot of money. And to have them available to you 24-7, for five dollars a month is pretty amazing so here's how you get to it here is how you access it okay so number one you come up here to these nine dots all right so this is step number one go to the nine dots and click on them once you click on them you're going to see all of these different things pop up google drive google docs google sheets google slides chat meet and you have to keep scrolling down so to get to the live support that you want to get to, step number two is come here to admin and click on admin. So we scroll down from here, down to admin, and now click on admin like this. Okay, so now we verify that it's us. So you can click on this. Put in your password. Okay, so then you reach this page, the Google Admin page, okay? So now you scroll down right here, scroll down until you come to Support. Click on Support because this is what most technology is. It's a pathway or a map, okay? So that's what you want to be able to do, is to know what the pathway is, and that's what I'm showing you. So then the next step is right here, contact support. So you click on that. Now here's where it gets, let's say, interesting. Uh, you have to kind of know what to do next. So I'm going to show you what I do routinely. I come here. I could use chat. I like to get somebody on the phone because then they can use uh, a Google Meet or a Google Hangout to show me exactly uh, what I need to know and take over my desktop and they're very good at follow-up and make sure you get what you need done completely so now I'm going to put in um, help with it could be Gmail Google Sheets whatever I'm gonna put in Google Sheets and then I'm going to click here. And now artificial intelligence suggests um, some tutorials. And these are great, okay? Um, so you can get these, uh, download Google Sheet, Cheat Sheet, all right? How to use Google Sheets. This is like Excel, okay? Uh, a spreadsheet. That's why it's Google Sheets, okay? But I... I like the personal help, so I immediately then click on didn't help, continue to support. Some people may like the cheat sheet too. That's fine. So now we are in a position where we have the phone number and I can try chat instead, help with something else. But basically, here's the key, is you have to remember this pin because once I dial that number, the first thing it's going to do is ask me for this phone pin, which is eight eight four zero zero one seven seven so I kind of get that in my mind a little bit because immediately it's going to ask for that and you have to know what it is 
And if you're fumbling around for it, it doesn't give you a, a lot of time uh, to get to it. So it's kind of nice to have it in your mind, have it ready to go, and then you can dial it in uh, right away. So uh, let's give a call. So I'm going to dial one eight seven seven three five 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 seven eight seven. I'm going to call and put it on speakerphone. I'll turn it up so you should Thanks be. Thanks for calling the Google Cloud team. Please enter your support pin, followed by the hash or pound key. Thanks. A specialist will be on shortly. So there After you, you go. speak with a representative, you'll have an opportunity to take a quick one minute survey to tell us how we're doing. Before I put you through, Google would like your permission to monitor... No problem. Just a moment. I hit two for no particular reason, but here's the uh, on-hold music. And then I always like to just give them all the information. Thank you for calling Google Cloud. The farm. My name is Bonnie. Can I have your domain name, please? Yeah, I'm going to give you everything. Uh, so here it is. It is BigIdeasExpress.com. My email is mike at bigideasexpress.com. My phone, my contact phone is this one, 415-781-9296. And my issue is with uh, Google Sheets. I want to know how to create a Google Sheet uh, that I can input um, credit, or, uh, business card information, their first name, last name, uh, phone number, and email into an, uh, a sheet that I can then convert to a CSV file. That's what I'm calling about today. And I wonder if you would be kind enough to send me a link um, for a Google Hangout so you can walk me through it. Absolutely. So basically what you want to do is... Like make your Google Sheet um, a an SV, CSV file, right? Yeah. Like convert. Right. So that, right. so that I I've got a place I can put in credit when I go to networking events I can put in their first name last name phone number and email and then uh, print out or download a CSV file. All right. Just one second. Let me add all the details to your case. And have a screen share session with you. Thank you. You're welcome. You are going to receive an email with the link, so let me know if you received it. Okay. I'm going to hit uh, refresh. Not here yet. Start again. Let me send it again. And let me generate it again one more time. Okay, so it should be on its way again. Where it says meet. Google.com forward slash. And then the rest of the letters. Sure. Um, yeah, I've done this a uh, number of times. So, oh, oh here, I think I, I just got, an, oh, here it is. Yep. All right, so I'm going to click on this, Google Meet. Right. And I'm going to, I'm going to shut off my um, camera and then just request to join it. And that's what I'm doing now. Perfect. Now let's click on present now. Right, and then uh, here's present now. I'm clicking on that, and I want to send share my entire screen, and I'm right. going to select that and share it with you. Can you please mute the microphone? I will. And there, the mic is Perfect. muted, and I think we're good. All right. So now, can you show me, please? Your Google Sheet? Yeah, um, 
so basically, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Here it is. Um, oh wait, where'd it go? Well, let me let me do this. I'm gonna click here and here and here, and then I'm gonna select sheets. Right. All right. So now we have a blank one. So do you want me to, now here's what I want. I want it to be a sheet that I can input the first name, last name, phone number, and email. So which template, uh, so that I can print out a CSV file, would you select if you were me? Start here, right? Right, you. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, um, here we would uh, put in uh, well I'm gonna let you tell me uh, whoops what to do you still there yeah I'm still here but um, what details do you want to add so on the first field you can add the details like name and then I don't know of um, email address and then depending on what um, what information you want to add in this spreadsheet well, the, the things I want, I'm going to call this uh, Google, or uh, G, I'm going to call it uh, Gmail Contacts. Or would you call it Google Contacts or Gmail Contacts? Um, Google Contacts, maybe? Okay. Okay. And then I want uh, their... First name, last name, phone number, and email address. Okay, let me see if there's maybe, yeah, let me see, just one second. But can you go to Google Contact before? Uh, you, you want, tell me where you would like me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Absolutely. Can you please open a new tab and type in contact? Google.com contact dot Google.com there we go okay now on the left can you click on more so scroll down maybe at the very very bottom there it says export or import. Do you see that? Import. It says here. Yeah, import. We're going to select the import. Select. Where it says create multiple contacts instead. Because what we need to get here is a CSV file. So import. Let's try the export. Export. Yeah, names. And let's see how it's showing. Okay, I'm sorry. Which yeah, so here is already one. So can you click on cancel here, please? Yes. Yeah. And where, can you select where it says um, import, export, sorry, export. There you go. Click on export again. Hmm. Can't we just turn this into first name, last name, phone, and email, and then eliminate everything else? That's what I'd really like to do. All right, let's do it like that then. So, uh, do I put where, where do I put what it is up here? Yes, on the first one. So the first one will say name. Okay. First name. Then last name here. Is that right? Right. Yes. Well, it does um, name, given name, additional name, but if you want to just leave it short, then we can just add it like, name it like that. And then, uh, great, that's all I need. And then if I wanted to add website, I could, but I, I'm not interested in that. Or maybe I will. I'll put website, too, just... Uh, 
Okay, now how do I eliminate the rest of these? Under the save there, you cannot um, delete them. Okay. So yeah, then, but they right, won't affect. right here I put uh, John and then hit tab, Smith, tab, 415-781-9296, and then tab, Mike, at Big Ideas Express dot com right right and uh, then that that's pretty much it right that's it and then if I wanted to share it now how and uh, how I can uh, export this how do I export this as a uh, CSV you should have the option there where it says format All right. And then, let me see here, let me see here. One second. You should have the option to change it to the CSV file. I think I have to export it. Uh, let's see, where would export... I mean, just, I'm guessing. So let's go to file I'm, and where it says download as. Download, can you click on download? There, and then it says CSV there. Scroll down. The other one, the other one. Down, and it, well, it's there, but it's almost the last one. I'm. That one, that one. You just. Where? Well, it's before the last one. It says CSV there, and then... Oh, yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. This one. Yeah, please. Okay. Let's save that one. And there we are. Let's wait for it to be completed. There it is. All and right. And now let's go to contact, and let's try to upload it. All right. So I'm going to close out of that. And now I'm going to go back to contacts. And then, uh, where's upload? Where it says import on the left side. Oh, yeah. There you go. Select the file, and that's where you're going to select the file. And import. Right. And there, All done. And there it there is. It is. Right. Uh, all right. Very good. Well, that, that was uh, very good. Appreciate your help. And uh, that's all I need. So thank you very much. Now, You're welcome. So I will proceed. Yeah. Tell oh, me. Uh, just one tell final me. question. Could you tell me, can you uh, give me a list or send me a list? of all of the things that are covered in this kind of support from G Suite. So are all of these things um, covered? Is Google My Business, Gmail, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar, etc. Are these all covered with support from uh, G Suite? Yes. Um, can you scroll down where you have the main menu? Let me see the rest of them. Not all of them are supported, just like the ones at the top. So, like just these? But, um, like those, yeah. Okay. And the other ones have their own support. I see, okay. So, uh, is yeah. uh, does YouTube have support? Yes, they have their support. Can you get to it through here? Um, 
I can send you the link where you can just request a call from them. Oh. Because normally their support is just a community. Since it's a free service, they don't have like a support like G Suite. However, I can send you a link where they can call you back. Oh, wonderful. Okay. All right. Well, very good. I, I appreciate your help very much. Thank you. You're welcome. So let me go ahead and close this case. I'll send you a recap email. If you have any other question, you can reply to that email that I will send you. The email will come directly to me, and I will call you back as soon as possible, or just reply to your email. Okay. So and it was a pleasure to assist you. Yeah. Uh, G Suite support is available 24-7, 365, right? Right, that is correct. Okay. We're here 24-7, so 365. All right. 365 days. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Um, before you go, there's a short survey at the end of this call with two questions. We will really appreciate your feedback. Be happy to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely week. You Bye. too. Bye. taking time to give us feedback. We have just a few quick questions for you, which you can answer using your keypad. First, on a scale of one to five, five being the easiest, how easy was it for you to get the help you needed? I was giving them a five. Okay, and on a scale of one to five, five being very satisfied, how satisfied were you with the agent? That's it. Thanks for your input. Have a good day. All right, guys, uh, there's uh, lesson one on um, all of the different things, uh, things that are available uh, to you through G Suite. And uh, that's how to use Google Contacts for your cross-group networking uh, and making it as simple as using Gmail. So you can uh, send them an email, give them a phone call, and follow up. And uh, it's just a great virtual assistant uh, support top-level executives at your service 24-7. Hope this helps. Talk soon.